Welcome back. In our final community conversation, we're joined by Jonathan Chasen, Vice Chair of the Charlottesville Regional Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So today we're talking about the Chamber's Future Task Force. Pretty cool name. Tell me about it. Well, it's, uh, it's future-focused, so uh, it's no secret last year we lost an executive director, and the easy thing to do would have been to go right back through the process of hiring a new executive director. But we decided to take a bit of a pause, think about the future as it relates to uh, the chamber and its role in the community, particularly in creating an appropriate business climate. Uh, so Futures Tax Force, obviously focused, looking forward at opportunities. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we set the environment uh, that works really well for our next uh, executive director, but also for our staff, our wonderful members, and ultimately for Charlottesville as a whole. And what work is the task force doing this year to help guide the chamber's future? Well, it's a pretty simple evaluation of our strengths, uh, some weaknesses perhaps, uh, but basically again the role of, uh, you know, that we play currently in the community. So we're working with a lot of sort of um, uh, cohort organizations, business organizations that we interact with, but we don't necessarily interact with as healthily as we'd like to. And so we're evaluating how we can do that better, be more collaborative, uh, focus on getting things done within our community. So looking at that, and then we're looking at a lot of best practices from the Virginia Chamber uh, as things have changed within chambers around the country. Things have just been modernized a bit. We want to make sure we're keeping up with the latest trends so it can be most helpful to our members. And how long has this task force been going on for? It's not that long. We just started just a few weeks ago, and uh, so we're you know right in the middle of it. And how's it been going so far? I think pretty good. We've had some very healthy conversations and honestly they're conversations that probably needed to happen quite some time ago. So it's been going really well. Um, and what opportunities are there for the community to get involved? Well there's going to be a lot of opportunities. There's always opportunities at the Chamber. It is a member organization so certainly our members know that we have plenty of events and things like that that we want people to come to. But if we think about the broad Chamber, a uh, broad community and in interaction, uh, certainly, if you're not a member and you have a business, we'd certainly like you to be a member. So see us about that. So SeavilleChamber.com uh, is the way to find that out. Uh, but in addition to that, we're going to be hiring a new executive director, as I mentioned. And so we'll be surveying the community, asking for feedback about things that you may want to see in sort of the role that the chamber has within the community. And then we're actually going to go through with that new executive director a full-on strategic plan. And that's going to need a lot of community involvement. So. Two more things that I'll quickly mention, if that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, some things that are coming up here, uh, you know, just in short order. Leaders Lab. So Leaders Lab is a program we've been running for a couple of years now, now run by Anne Marie Honeberger on our staff, and uh, that's going to start uh, in September. But in the interim, we've got an extension on the deadline for applications through July 12th. So again, go to SeavilleChamber.com for information on that, and then. I'm the, as you mentioned, the vice chairman, which means that I am the rising chairman for the Chamber of Commerce, and I fortunately will have to go to Tuscany with our group uh, and visit yet another wine region. And uh, so we're a great wine region, named again one of the best here recently by Wine Enthusiast, and uh, wine, ch actually I think it's Wine Region of the Year by Wine Enthusiast in 2023. We'll go visit another great wine region and share some business practices and ideas in Italy. So if you're interested in that trip, that has details as well on our website. We'd love to have you join. All right, thank you, Jonathan. Sounds like you have a lot of great things coming up. We certainly do. Thanks so much, Maggie. Yep. All right, Aaron.